everyone and welcome back to my channel. In my last video, I asked you what this noise was. Well, it's actually from this device. It might look like a bomb or a torpedo, but it's actually a hydram, which is a pump that pumps the spring water from here all the way up to the farm, which is about half a mile away. This is the Blake's Hydram. It doesn't require electricity nor fuel to work, only gravity. But how does it actually work? There's a natural spring here and pipes carry the water to the feeding well, which is just above the Hydram, which is down there. The water is then sent to the hydrant via a drive pipe and the force of this water coming down powers the rubber washers inside the hydrant. The washers then go up and down to create the pressure to push the water up the pipe. The hydrant pumps the water to the reservoir which is roughly half a mile away from here, feeding four water troughs along the way. And as you can see, it's quite an incline and quite a distance that this relatively small mechanism has to pump the water. This is the reservoir which is situated behind the farm and can hold roughly 13,000 litres of water. As the reservoir is situated behind the farm and slightly higher up, gravity pushes the water from the reservoir to the farm buildings. The hydrant used to supply water to three of the nearby farms, but by now it only feeds one. This marvellous piece of machinery has been here for roughly a hundred years, pumping water daily to the farm, allowing the farm animals to have fresh water. But there is a real danger that this hydrant might end up in the sea. In 2013, when it rained all autumn and winter, the land surrounding the hydrant started to slip, taking the hydrant with it. These landslides are happening more and more often. Could this be the result of climate change? Every time the land slips, the farmer has to come down and extend the pipes. Hydrums are still in use today and used worldwide in places without electricity. The first hydram was made in the 1800s and the longest surviving working hydram was put in in 1888, which is still in use today. I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you liked it and found it interesting. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Ha <laughs> ha